Both state and local officials are keeping a close eye on the roads tonight. They want to make sure it's safe for your morning commute. And KXAN's Alex Capriello is live in central Austin with the latest on that. Robert, Sydney, TextNOT officials tell me they are pre treating and de icing roads up in Williamson County, north of SH 45, and then, of course, out in the hill country where we did just see Tom. But closer to home here in downtown Austin, nothing yet. They're going to hold off. Even still, those crews will be out monitoring these roads to make sure they're making the best decision for when that time comes. As the winds pick up and the rain comes down, TxDOT officials are closely watching the weather conditions in Austin. We're not expecting ice to form on the roadways. We expect the moisture to move out before the freezing temperatures move in. Even if there aren't crews actively treating the roads closer to downtown, they still want you to be proactive. You need to drive slower. Bridges can be slick and will be the first to freeze over. It also takes more time to stop when it's wet, so be careful. Number one priority, first and foremost, always without exception, the safety of our students. School officials are also considering if they need to delay or cancel classes. You can't ever just take it easy, especially in weather like this. Everything has to be heightened. Superintendents in the area will have multiple conference calls throughout the night to share their decisions. AISD will notify parents beginning around 3 a.m., Leander by 5 a.m., and Round Rock by 6 a.m. Parents should keep an eye out for phone calls, texts, and emails from their districts. Now, I spoke to over half a dozen school districts today, and in my reporting, I found out that there are a lot of people that are involved in making this decision about whether to cancel or delay classes. At the AISD, they work closely with the city's Department of Homeland Security and Emergency Management, as well as the National Weather Service, to make that decision. Now, the decision for you folks at home is easy. Just go to KXAN.com. We've already got a list of school delays and closures that you can find on our website. Reporting live in Austin, I'm Alex Capriello, KXAN News.